Wide selection of choices, pretty much. Ah, oh, nice, nice, nice. Um, uh, I was wondering if I could speak to the manager, if that's possible. Manager? I'm second from, yeah, I'm store manager. Unless you want to talk to Billy himself. Yeah, I'd like to talk to Billy if that would be nice. I um, uh, Tell him it's John from Tasek. Yeah, no problem. I'll see what I can do. Cheers. I'll be right back. I'm just going to go in the office and give him a call. No worries. Thank you very much. Sweet, thank you very much. No worries. Uh, do you use accept card? Because I think I might grab a feed while I'm here. Alrighty. Um, so everything on the menus so above me is what you sell. Uh, no, not the menu of golf buses and then that you're ready Right, right, right. So just grab the tablet here and have a look. Cheers. Thank you. All right, let's have a look. So you just started here? No, I'm co-owner, well, not co-owner, but, um... 
pretty, pretty much cover in there. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm assuming you'd be in the uh, emails. That yeah, uh, yeah. is your name, Kane. Yeah, Kane. Ah, uh, yeah, that's right. So you'd be in the emails that, with me uh, having a chat with. Yeah. Billy, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Unfortunately, I, I'll I'll wait till uh, Billy gets here, but I'll just exp give more detailed explanation as to why we can't provide security services at the moment. No problem. It's just been one massive fucking pain in my ass. Yeah. Yep. Hello. Oh, hi there. This is this, not too bad. Is your name Billy? Want to head to our office? Oh yes. Hey, yeah. I'll uh, sort out some food later. Oh yeah. Just go on the door on your. Oh yeah. Go around. Yep. Too busy. Right. Thank you. Just follow us. Nice to meet you. What was your name? Sorry. John. Nice to meet you, John. Nice to meet you. So you could pull up a chair if you want to. Ah, cheers. Thank you. I think I'll have to sit on the couch. Oh, oh apparently I can't sit. Alright, I'll just stand. Um, uh, sorry, I'm uh, going for a little bit of a throat infection. Um, nothing to worry about. It's not contagious or anything. <laughs> um, so, bit of an introduction. My name is John Clark. I am the uh, director of Tezdek, which is a uh, security company that's trying to operate in Victoria. Um, which I believe you've uh, heard a little bit about us since you uh, contacted us directly. Um, so, uh, look, to be honest with you, the reason why we can't operate in Tasmania, sorry, in uh, Victoria at the moment, sorry, I get confused, we actually have an operation down in Tasmania, um, but the reason why we cannot operate in Victoria at the moment is because the governments and the courts are met giving, uh, do you use mind me using vulgar language? Okay. Right. Uh, all right. In that case, they're pretty much fucking me in the ass without any lube whatsoever or any protection whatsoever right now. They're not giving me. They're literally just going back and forth. I'm going through absolute loops with them. If it's something approved by the government, I go to the courts, and the courts say, "Right, you need to actually have to approve from the government." And it's like it's it's just been a massive pain in my ass. Um, hopefully soon ish i hope that the government and the courts will finally get their heads out of their asses and actually give us the licenses to operate um hence why the prices uh in my opinion they seem to be a little bit too high for a security operation uh yep. but that's because i have to put it like that because the government isn't giving me the uh works of the economy per se and they're not providing any government funding or whatnot. I'm assuming you guys get some sort of government funding as a startup. No, we don't. Oh, you don't? Well, the money I've made is just profit from selling our um, mills and burgers. Ah, nice. Um, right, so... That's a bit of an explanation, but to help me better understand what your needs are and what your situation is for when we do eventually have a security license, um, did you just want security officers to be present? I would like at least one in store and maybe one just like sometimes like drives in, check if everything's all right and just leaves. Yeah, so pretty much how... Yeah, so pretty much how we're going to be... Off, well, how the company should be operating is that we'll actually have a uh, supervisor driving around 
the city, going to various sites, checking in with the guards, checking in with clients and all that. So, yeah, that will be something that we'll be able to offer. Um, as for a static guard, once we have the license, yeah, sure, we can give you a static guard. Um, did you want a unarmed or an armed guard? What do you reckon, Zane? Or Kane? Um... Bearing in mind, bearing in mind that hopefully, if all goes well, uh, all TASSEC employees will be certified to use pepper spray. Got pepper. So, what are the ones that are unarmed? What are they going to be carrying? So, uh, unarmed guards will be carrying pepper spray as a last resort. If they can't use de escalation tactics, then they can use pepper spray to uh, subdue a aggressive patron, which would allow them to uh detain them uh as a security company under the security legislation we can technically arrest people but that's a bit massive massive black area per se so we would be you know we'd be putting cuffs on them if they like got very aggressive and it was like the last resort like right okay no you've literally committed a crime on the premises um would be putting cuffs um... I reckon we go for unarmed now if everything gets like too hostile with noise. Like escalate if you know what I mean. Like Yeah, of course, of time. course. So yeah, the unarmed guard will have handcuffs and, well ideally will have handcuffs and pepper spray. Uh since those are non lethal things. We don't I don't feel like I fully agree. Right now I consider that we don't really need an armed guard at a burger shot. Considering how much political, or say, a public backlash that might turn out to be, if you understand me. Yep. Right. Okay. So let me just grab my tablet here. Sorry, that's my phone. Run pocket. All right. So let me just write some, type in some uh, details here. So yeah, one un unarmed guard. the guard just be here like during our operating hours we have to like sort of maybe sort out a schedule or see what we can do yeah we can see about what we can do in details uh right now at the moment i can only legally employ myself and my operations manager who's unfortunately able to be with us today um but uh, once we do have the necessary licenses and all that, we should manpower shouldn't be a problem because I have quite a few people that are heavily interested in working with us. Yep. So manpower shouldn't be a problem. It's just these freaking licenses that are becoming a major pain in my ass. Yeah, but as well, like if somebody's not like saying like. Say if we trespass somebody and they come back, I want you to also be able to like blacklist them. And we have a blacklist thing, I don't know if you saw that in the emails. So just write down somebody's name, how long they're on the blacklist for and the reason. Yeah, and with, uh, from my understanding of Victorian legislation, it's very vague considering I'm from Tasmania. So, uh, but I believe that the legislation is somewhat similar. I'd have to go into more deep in research into that. Uh, but from my understanding of how the law is, if someone is trespassed uh, and they do return, we legally cannot arrest them or detain them. We actually have to ask them to leave. And if they don't leave, then we'd have to call for Vic Pol assistance. And then they can ask them to leave. And if they don't listen to Vic Pol, then they can be arrested for that. Um, however, that does not mean that we cannot detain someone if they become if they commit an, any other crime like say uh from one example from down in tasmania we actually had uh you guys know what a woolworths is yeah yeah, yeah. yeah so we had a uh contract for woolworths down in hobart and we had a gentleman walk in who had been uh barred from the property and he was told to leave by one of our security officers and then he proceeded to assault the store manager uh so we were able to detain that man on based on a assault charge and he did get charged by yep. taspol for an assault charge so we can do something like that if they come into the store and they have been blacklisted we can't we can't detain them but as soon as they commit some other crime, such as an assault or whatnot, then we can 
proceed to detain them, place them in cuffs, and then have Vic Pohl charge them with uh, that particular crime. They can't charge... At that point, they won't be able to charge them for the trespass, but nine times out of ten, the thing, the time that we will detain them will probably be for something more serious than a trespass charge. Right. right. So now we've got the unarmed guard, we've got the blacklist system sorted. Uh, is there anything else that you would like from me? Just like I said, just um, like doing security rats like around burger shot and stuff. Just make sure the buildings are clear, like drive throughs are clear and stuff like that. Nobody's loading around, nobody's graffitiing and causing a menace. Right, right, right. So you want a... So let me get this straight. So on top of having the unarmed guard here during opening hours and a supervisor occasionally check it up on them, you'd like a property checks done outside of opening hours yeah just in case yeah. but it only have like you don't have to do it like every single day just if you're driving past the area come have a look check if it's all right right i don't have a uh, charge for that one so i will have to get back to you on what that charge would essentially be every time we do a property check um how so you don't want them to be like every day just whenever we have the spare time yeah well i've if you're just driving by the store, just do a quick drive by around the premises. Yeah, I reckon we can do that. Shouldn't be a problem. Um, I just want some sort of, sort of security because I have been kidnapped from my own premises before, and I just I don't want it to happen again. I should be yeah. feeling safe and comfy, comfy yeah. like coming in. Entirely like, understandable. In um, also, on top of that. Uh, how can I put this? Um, sometimes when we have a supervisor come in, they may be an, uh, an armed supervisor, uh, armed guard supervisor. Um, if that they do come in, uh, I'm going to be honest with you, I'm not going to charge you for that whenever a supervisor comes in. I will just consider it as a... Uh, since you'll be one of our first clients in Victoria, I reckon I can do you as a solid and pretty much have the supervisors come in as part of the standard charge for the arm, unarmed guard. Yeah, yeah. If me yeah. and Kane also have any more questions or concerns, we can just liaise with you on our um, right for emails. Yeah, no worries. Um, yeah, that's probably the best way. I could also give you my number and you can call me if oh, yeah. you... Yeah, hang on. Give me one second. Maybe ten my number. All right, so actually, okay, there we go. Sweet, Billy's number. Right, I'll send you a text. Uh, and Kane's number. Sweet. Okay, I'll send you both a text because my uh, airdrop appears to be malfunctioning. Typical freaking Telstra. So I'm the like. Executive officer, like I'm pretty much the head of the company. Um, Keynes is going to be the store manager, so he pretty much runs everything below me. And we also got some like um, crew members, we got some crew leads, and we got some crew trainers. But at the moment, we don't really have any like. Yeah. We're just building a backbone of the store at the moment. If you right, get so in contact with us, just contact me or leave over here. Yep, no worries. Uh, also, just to give you some more information into our business too, I have had a meeting with Vic Pol, and just to give you guys a little bit of uh, uh, sound of mind, all TASSEC employees will have a background check conducted by Vic Pol, so you won't have any uh, employees working here that have a serious criminal record that's fine um on top of that too i'll also uh since this is technically a retail store in a sense uh if i have any guards who have like a long like have like a history of uh shoplifting as a child or because sometimes we can get uh during our background checks we can get information into their child into their youth past so if I have any guards that do have, hang on, I'll uh, call that guy back. 
Uh, sorry, your your name was uh, Kane, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, cool. There we go. I'll send you a message with my number as well. Um, but like I said, uh, if there's any guards that do have a history of theft or shoplifting, they will not be working in the store either. No, that's fine. I think we got four employees now. Yeah, four. Or three. Three that are back to come in. No worries. Um, also, question just out of curiosity have you uh, done any background checks on your employees? No, we have not. Right. Uh, if I can sort something out. With Vic Pol, would you eventually like to have some of your employees background checked? I don't think at the maybe later on, just at, not at the moment. Like, yeah, because if, if I if I could do thing. if I do that, I'll only tell you is if they have like any uh, criminal history that might affect your business, such as like a theft charge or a uh, yeah. or they tried to murder their ex boss. <laughs> well, if the charges for from like two months ago and they want to try and pick the laugh around or if it's petty stuff then you're happy with that yeah yeah cool just like any like recent stuff and all that event yeah. if you do decide to do that i'll keep in mind that it's just for any recent criminal at moment, charges at the moment we're pretty relaxed on the criminal side of whatever they do at the moment yeah. with our employees with our cousins and stuff it's sort of hard to try and open the business with our cousins so we're trying to give free reign to like our chefs and see if they can open it up around times where our cousins are flying in or around, you know, try and promote the business a little bit more and try and get more foot traffic in and hire more potential like crew members and get them going for the range of becoming hopefully like crew trainers and all that so we can sort of like try and step back and look, um, look at it more from a management position saying where we can spend our time and um, effort into, you know, like on the business side rather than trying to um, be a crew member ourselves of cooking the food and trying to clean the store and stuff like that. Yeah, I see, I see. Um, right, uh, let me go back on my tablet here. Let's just say with our crew members, when they're off duty and not working here, we don't really, we're not too fussed what they're up to. Yeah. Um, I also believe that I do have, uh, Billy, a part of the, uh, my, uh, security emails, yeah. uh, well, sorry, our security social network, uh, did, uh, oh, sorry, sir, I forgot your name Kane. again. It's been, it's been a very Kane. long day. Kane, thank you. Yeah. Uh, sorry, been a very long day of dealing with bullshit. Um. Plus, my fucking cousin's also just became a paramedic, so he's just been constantly at my ear about it. I just wish he could shut the fuck up about it. Um, but yeah, that's my that's my personal problem. Sorry to bring you into that. Um, so, Kane, did you want to be added into the, our uh, security social network? Because uh, yeah, we'll have access. Yeah. I can have it, so uh, you'll be able to see our policy. So you can be, since I believe uh, Billy's been reversed in what our policy is, considering he has access to that, but I don't think you have. Yeah, I'll kind of join it. Yeah, no worries. I'll sort that out with you uh, at some stage through your email system. Um, right. Is there anything else that I need to worry about? Not at the moment. If I do remember anything else, I will let you know about it through your email system. Um, is there any other further questions that you have of me? Not at the moment in time. If we require more like guards or if we require any more questions or queries, we can always just like lay ears on in, um, that channel we were discussing in before or even direct email me. Yeah, no worries. I can certainly do that. Um, I'm just trying to remember if there is anything else. Oh, no, I don't think there is. All right. Uh, besides that, I'm absolutely famished, so I'll have to have a look at your menu and see what you have. <laughs> All righty. Uh, thank you very much, gentlemen. Uh, like I said, if you need to talk to me about anything, uh, 
in regards to your business or if you start up another chain somewhere else and you need some security for that, please do not hesitate to call me or send me an email. Uh, I, as soon as I get the uh, necessary licenses and permits, I will notify you as soon as I do get them. No problem. Thank you for your time. No worries. Thank you, sir. Alrighty, let's see what you have. Oh, did you get an F-Boss machine as well? Oh, no, I don't have one. No, oh, they're in the storage. There should be two. Oh, there's one left. I don't know what happened to the other one. Alrighty, uh, so you guys accept card? Yep, yep. Alright, cool. Uh, can I get a torpedo meal and a... for... Alright, so two burgers. So, so with the torpedo meal... Yeah, I'll just grab a torpedo meal, yeah. Okay, all good. What burgers and drinks did you want? Uh, I'll just get two chicken burgers. Uh, I'll grab... Two colas and a large fries. All good. No problem. I'll get that for you. Thank you. Two colas are in story. Oh, sorry. Um, can I also... Yeah, sorry. I just realised too. Can I also chuck in a uh, chocolate milkshake? Yeah, yeah. I'll get that. Um, Cheers. So this one's going to um, add on the chocolate shake. Let me have a look here. What does this add up to? We'll just um, add on the... Encounter one. Sweet. I won't grab that till I pay for it, so you know I'm not being stingy. <laughs> we'll, give, we'll give you a bit of a discount on that. We'll give it for you. Q for 1,500 instead of the 2,150 or maybe. Oh, you sure? Yeah, yeah, no problem. Ah, cheers. Send you over the bill. Thank you. Received it. Just go through your F5 muscle. Uh, right, cool. There you go, Chief. Thank you. Uh, what happened to the two cokes? 
Oh, two picks then, I don't know. <laughs> I was going to say. Oh, no. The cakes may be a little bit, a little bit warm, but they're still good. There you go. It's all right, I'll just chuck them in the uh, bar fridge in the back of the car. Getting prepared. But yeah, uh, if you still wanted to come outside, I can actually show you uh, what uniforms that the uh, uniform that the uh, armed guard, well, sorry, unarmed guard will show up in, so you know, well, at what it would probably be showing up as at the moment, uh, so you know that yeah, he's actually an employee. No problem. We'll just get out. So he'll probably look wearing something like this. Yep. Yeah. Very Unfortunately, good. the uh, the uh, decal guy uh, hasn't put security on the back, but hopefully uh, once we've sorted everything out with the government and all that, he might be able to uh, sort sort it out and actually get some sort of decal on the back. Yeah. Yeah. Alrighty. So thank you very much, gentlemen. I will send you emails and I'll sort out uh, your so I'll short out Kane uh, with the uh, link into our social network thank you so much good. for that no worries you guys have a good one you too it was long overdue hmm it was long overdue to start meeting oh definitely yeah I wish I could have it sooner but just the amount of uh, I was hoping that my I'd be able to uh have this meeting with all my licenses approved, but it's just taking too fucking long. Yeah, I do apologize. It, it's out of my hands. Alright, you guys have a good one. I'm going to skedaddle and make tracks. No problem. All good. Used to. Have a good night.